Don, bit of Carabao Cup tomorrow. Manchester United take on Manchester City. Semi-final stages, so this is over two legs. It's exactly what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer doesn't need at the moment. Yeah, and he's also come out um, over the last couple of days and said there's a flu epidemic going through the squad at Manchester United, so we're not sure what, uh, what squad he's got to choose from and what 11 he's going to pick. I would imagine it'll be very young, um, so this is going to be hard. Uh, and they'll be competitive, United, I think. City, over the last couple of games in the Premier League, have looked a little bit nervy. They just got over the line against Sheffield United and just got over the line against Everton. That was a tricky game for them. So I would imagine over the two legs, City will be firm favourites. But United, especially at home, will be competitive in this fixture. Why, Don? How will they be competitive? Uh, well, like the what have you seen? What have you seen well, from the them that suggests that? Well, inconsistent for a start. So you're not quite sure what United side you're going to see. But if they play with Martial, Rashford and Dan James, they've certainly got a threat. Um, Pep was alluding to that in his, in his press conference today. He was saying, you know, in transition, they're one of the most dangerous sides in the Premier League. And I, and I sort of get what he's saying. I don't, I don't buy that they're one of the most dangerous sides. But certainly, um, they're a better side when they haven't got the ball. I think the stats prove that. I think, you know, the way to easily beat Man United is let them have the ball because they're not particularly clever on it and they run out of ideas. So, if City are going to dominate the ball, um, then they must be wary and they must make sure that, and especially in the first 20, 25 minutes of the game, you know, if they're dominating the ball and creating chances and they don't stick one or two away, United will be dangerous on the counter because of their, their speed. wonder who started the flu epidemic at uh, United. I'm just thinking if it's Jesse Lingard. It, it's, uh, well, it's, one of the, it's one of the few things that he might have achieved recently. Yeah, yeah it's the first assist he's had for a while. <laughs> one of his few assists. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, this has become, I think, bigger for Man City now since, and it was embarrassing, the way they were taken apart at the Etihad, Etihad by Man United, and as Don said, on the counter, which is where they've struggled in all the games they've lost this year, because yeah. they generally dominate. Will, you think, at home, ball yeah. over the top, on the break, the pace of Traore, and, and, and so that's where United are, depending who's fit and who's playing, that's where they're going to get their just rewards. And if he hasn't guarded against that, I mean, even the Leicester game, it's like, I don't know... It, even the Leicester game for Man City at home, you look in the game, you think, right, the only ball they have when they're under the cosh is Jamie Vardy over the top. It, yet, Otamendi and Fernandinho over the period of time still defended in the same position. So if they don't learn the lesson, then United will cause problems against them. If they do learn the lesson and defend properly, they should win this tie over two legs. Should, comfortably. But if Pep is one of the greatest how... managers ever in the world, ever... And surely he can deal with the situation. Well, he's not dealing with the situation. He continues to go with Fernandinho and Otamendi, probably because he doesn't have really any other choices. But you've got two players, one who's passed it and one who's not a centre-back. But then tactically, surely you've got to set up to help them to well, make sure, it's Craig said, so you don't get caught in the break But then, But time. then for them to do that is taking away from all the things that Pep believes and all the things that he wants his team to do. And so we're basically saying, you know what? We're going to have to outscore teams. And when it doesn't happen going forward, that's when they find themselves in trouble. And that's the chance that United have. Right. Because going forward, City are still fantastic. So it's, it's, all about, it's, it's all about trying to eliminate what's going on defensively for them. And the more they can spend the time up, up the field and score enough goals. Because that's all it is. But I don't see City losing over two legs. That's what no. I said a few weeks ago. If it was a one-off game at Old Trafford, possibly with that ball over the top with the yeah. counter-attack. But over two legs, if they haven't learned the lesson, then the manager needs to be asked questions why. But I don't see that happening over 180 minutes. Not, not in the current climate. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.